Okay, here we go. Post trip moment number 45. And here we have another fabulous lying session. He said the same illustration in Matthew 24 as in 1 Thessalonians 5 because he's talking about the same thing. Uh, no, he absolutely is not. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And if you get the context and start reading in 1 Thessalonians 4.13, and read all the way to 1 Thessalonians 5, 9, where he says that we're not appointed to wrath, it makes perfect sense, and it fits in perfectly with what you read in Matthew 24. Oh, really? Fits in perfectly with what you read in Matthew chapter 24. Oh, really? Well, why don't we just look here, and I'll show you once again that the guy lies. Okay? Verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. First of all, show me the word trump in Matthew chapter 24. You say, well, I don't believe you. Trump. 1 Corinthians 15, 52, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. The only two references in your entire King James Bible to the word trump. Trump does not mean trumpet. You see, the last trump, the trumpet shall sound. That's not the same thing. Okay? See there? The trump of God. But it's angels that blow the trumpet. Okay? That's why you have the voice of the archangel in this passage. Okay? The trump of God. What is that? That's the voice of God. That's what John hears in Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. Alright? So that's problem number one with this teaching. That 1 Thessalonians 4 and 5 is exactly the same as Matthew 24. No, it is not. Look at this one. How about the dead in Christ rising first? Tell you what. I'll give anybody $100 to show me the dead in Christ rising first in Matthew chapter 24. Show me this wording right here in Matthew chapter 24. You know why nobody in Matthew chapter 24... You know why this isn't in there, excuse me? Because Matthew chapter 24, there are no dead in Christ. Nobody was in Christ in Matthew chapter 24. Okay, that didn't come till after Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead. Alright, it's... <coughs> excuse me. It's absurd. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. But if you're pre-trib, 1 Thessalonians 5 doesn't make any sense at all. All you want to do... Oh, really? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 doesn't make any sense at all if you're pre-trib. Let me show you. Okay? But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. In other words, you can't look out towards the second coming and say, well, then, you know, I can kind of space back seven years and we'll know when the rapture is going to happen. That's what's going on here. But look at this. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with a child. Now here's what he didn't want to discuss. And they shall not escape. Escape what? You see? Escape. Somebody's escaping. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Could it be the body of Christ being raptured away? is just quote verse 9 all day long and just keep quoting it about how we're not appointed to wrath but uh, you don't want to go to chapter 3 where it says we're appointed to tribulation and again he comes back to the same little argument again oh the bible says that Christians go through tribulation so that proves we'll go through the great tribulation even though the great tribulation is not a bible term it, this guy is just ridiculous okay we are not appointed to God's wrath see he can't deal with that either so he tries to say, well, God's wrath doesn't show up until, you know, the later part there when we when the tribulation is done and we've been raptured away. What a bunch of nonsense. Let's go to Revelation chapter 6 again. And what do we see? White horse, Antichrist shows up, going forth, conquering, and to conquer. Okay? And you say, well, what's this have to do? This is just us being persecuted. No, look, look. Look here. The lamb opened one of the seals. When he opened the second seal. When he opened the third seal. When he opened the fourth seal. Would Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, 
would he pour out these judgments on his own body? On the body of Christ? Well, according to this little nut, I guess he would. But let's finish and hear what it, he has to say here. And you don't want to go to Matthew 24 where he says the exact same thing. No, it doesn't. And tells us that the rapture is after the tribulation. No, it doesn't. He lied again.